let's say that our height is 10 and our two bases are 12 and 16. So this original base is 16. What we're going to do is plug in 12 and 16 for B1 and B2. So let's plug that in, 12 and 16. And we're going to add those two together. We're going to multiply it times the height, which is 10, and then take half of that product. So 10 times what? Well, 12 plus 16, that's 28. So 10 times 28 is 280. Then we have to take half of 280. So we get 140 as our area. And that's the area of the trapezoid. Now notice this distance from here to here, that mid-segment, is actually 14. So if you wanted to average 12 and 16 together, you would get a mid-segment of 14 and almost treat it like a rectangle. Okay, let's try another one. But this time I'm going to give you some different information. I'm going to give you the length of the two bases, and then I'm going to give you the length of the leg. Now, you're going to think, well, I'm just going to plug in 4 for my height, but you can't because this is not the altitude drawn straight down. We need to figure that out. So let me show you how you'd figure that out. You've got a 60 degree angle here. So when you drop this altitude down, you have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. So when I drop the altitude down, I can find this distance by taking half of the hypotenuse, because in 30, 60, 90, that's the rule. Take half of the hypotenuse to find the short leg, and that's two, and multiply it times the square root of three to find the long leg, which is also the height of our trapezoid. Now we can use our formula. One half, our height we just figured out, was two square root three times our bases added together, so the sum of the bases. Okay, so the sum of the bases is 14 times 2 square root 3, and you're going to multiply that product by a half. So 2 times 14 is 28 square root 3, all multiplied by a half. Half of 28 is 14 square root 3 units squared. And that is how you would find the area of the trapezoid. Hope this video was helpful.